Hi, Lakshya. Welcome on your video. Hello, sir. Thank you. And Lakshya, uh, let me congratulate you for your selection in HL. Though it is almost now uh, one year. Uh, one last year. Year, last yeah. year you got uh, selected in this. So I want to interact with you and uh, we want to know more about this entire process of HL, the uh, yeah. process of interviews. And I'm very sure this interaction is going to be useful for students who are going for this year for the interview. So Lakshay, I start with your background. Uh, can you please tell us about you first? So, hello, sir. And uh, to be uh, given brief, I have completed my CMA, that is Cost and Management Accounting in year 2020 after which I joined Accenture. There I worked for an year and then this HL exam I gave and there I could get as an MT, that is management trainee and finance fit profile. Besides this, I have also been into teaching and studying at the same part. I have recently cleared UGC net. So mm. I'm into academics and uh, this is how like my journey has been so far. Okay, so uh, Lakshay, HL uh, as, uh, uh, you know, as organization, uh, uh, what is your perception about the interview stage of HL? Is it like they ask more technical or they ask HR or what is what is your view on that? So I have kept all the notes like what I experienced and that I hope it becomes handy for those who are preparing for the interview. So the first thing is best part of HL process is it has only one exam and an interview. So if you have done very well in your exam, there is no uh, barrier like GD or a barrier some but other exam. You just have to score good in your exam, which will contribute something around 70% to your total merit. So interview plays an important role because it has a 30% weightage. But if you have done very well in your exam, like in my case, out of uh, I will in the those who were shortlisted for the interview, I was among those who were in top three. So my journey was a little easy. But at the same time, people are also there who have not done that good in exam. They have somehow shortlisted for the interview, but they have done good so far interview, so good interview that they have cracked the seat in which there are only three candidates required. It was happening in IMM department. So interview plays an important role. I gave an example where a person was just decent in the exam, shortlisted for interview, banked the interview and could back the seat in which only three seats were there. And there were cases like me also, there must be people who have done very good in exam. So you need not to worry about it. Keep your nerves straight. Questions will be of blend, technical and HR both, because it's a big board. There are around six people with one chairman, typical like a UPSC or IES interview which people have given. There is no compromise in that. Interview will be serious. It is a blend of both HR. They will check the personality. They will check the profile. For technical people, it's like, uh, for like I was not thinking, but for technical, they ask the projects which people have done. What was their observation? Because I could get from the training period that uh, their interview went in this direction. If people, whatever the project they have done in their courses, if it's a fresher profile, then they will ask the, what is like, theoretical part because they expect a fresher knows his course and syllabus. If fresher is there with a good amount of period in which he has not taken any job, then he is asked why it is a cool period, what you have done in this profile, in this period. And if someone who is experienced, he is asked from his work of work experience. Like in my case, I was working in extensions, so my most of the interview was in a direction in which I have worked. So if you are a fresher, you have to keep your concepts basics very strong because that will be their main area and your project which you have done. And if you are actually a working aspirant, like last year, there were civil people, mechanical people who were into different, maybe say, for example, Boeing and other things. So from them, it is asked what profile they are working, what they have observed. Case studies also, they ask, like certain problem happens. You also mentioned in your video about pilot and all. So this type of questions are often asked. So yeah, interview is important because it carries 30% weightage. If you have done good in exam, you still have to do well because there can be people who do bang in the interview. So yeah, mm -hmm. it is a blend of both HR and technical. Okay. So very nicely said, Lakshay, I tell you a typical problem uh, which students face. And, you know, as a mentor, they discuss that with me also. The students who have done very good in the interview, they feel that uh, very good in written, they feel that intro is not very significant. So let's take it lightly. Mm -hmm. like some you cannot do that. They cannot and do those, that. those who have uh, not done very good in written, they believe that even if we do very good, they cannot, uh, uh, does not matter. Uh, so no, that is a dilemma. Yes. And you have given a very good example where you said that, okay, there was a student who was having very, you know, at the margin only got interview call, mm -hmm. did very good in interview and eventually got selected. Right. Right. Yes. So, so in my opinion, also, Lakshya, the mentality should be the moment you get interview call, just don't mm -hmm. even think about your return, give your best what you can do. And that is Definitely. how I think 
can do like i myself at this platform is to give three mocks so those of people who are even if you have casual attitude still you should give mocks why because uh, if you go directly into the interview first of all it's a defense call so it's actually defense psg so when the moment you will enter you will see people stand up and so strong high button so you will automatically feel very much threatened so as sir mentions ki you have to be very serious from the very beginning casual attitude in even at the work profile they will not solve it so in interview they will it very easy ki ha he is not interested let him okay let's say you went through the interview after your job experience and all so uh, mm-hmm. can you tell us uh, some typical hr question or normal question they will ask like introduction and job experience or something so can you uh, tell us something like they are going to ask these kind of questions so uh, i have gave a interview just after the covid was down and everything was open so first of all those who are working professional they have to be very much particular about this first thing why they are switching why they are changing because this is question which i also was confronted they will also be confronted those who are actually switching from private to psc first mm-hmm. question definitely they'll ask you why you are switching because in private we get option of work from home we private we can go to anywhere in india in hl they will as you mentioned hr first question will be first they will ask this is a part of your knowledge also ki where are the different divisions of hr mm-hmm. first like i was asked ki where is korapur so i had prepared for hr so i knew korapur is in odisha then the next question was followed are you ready to serve at korapur it's not that they will be posting you there only but it is an example of an hr question there they will give a scenario you will be posted to korapur are you ready to take that so first mm-hmm. of all before going to interview you should know where hl has offices first mm-hmm. hr question will be this only are you ready to relocate because hl is we mainly based this pan india in us to up it has in kanpur lucknow korwa in odisha and then in karnataka so they will say ki you were may be posted anywhere then first question is this are you ready to relocate and undoubtedly if someone is going for interview going all the way to bangalore he should be accepting this the second hr question comes is if you are working why you are leaving your job and most of the mentality i hope sir will support more with this example if people go to psc just because okay it's still life relax secure job okay they will ask this question if you are coming with this mentality and you have to get ready with your answer because this is not the answer they will anyway accept no one will accept it first so why you are going to psu after leaving your private job and even if you are a fresher you have opportunities why you are coming to psu this can again be asked so two types of hr question ki are you ready to relocate why you want to come to psu and then next hr question which can be asked often is ha ki why psu attracts you other than this what is your life goal like if you are coming to hl see if you join as a management trainee and your age is below 25 something or 28 30 you have a good chance ki you can retire as a top position in your division that is dg ng so what career you hold in your life you are you ready to willing willing to give it to your life so you need to tell that other than that there is job security see we are attracted to psu for job security but the thing is here also they have to perform performance related phase also there in the hl like other psc so in hr they also ask you are you ready to uh, like uh, you have to work and you have not to the just this here in the hindi ki we are just warming the table it's not like that are you willing to give because you can see chandrayaan recently they all ask these recent events in my time there was uk russia war so they were mentioning these these examples for us in the interview so right now chandrayaan has launched and you those who will be going for interview is the office is being the way of way itself so they will ask this is people are willing to sacrifice their life are you ready to sacrifice because you have to work for difference so these are the same typical hr questions the why precisely the crux is relocation why you are leaving the job psu why psu then why basically uh, are you coming to government for job security what are your life term goals and like this how it goes in hr form okay and let's say do they give some kind of situational problems to you uh, where they will uh, put you some situation and then they will ask you how you will handle this situation do they ask you that kind of question also yes definitely it's part of personality question and i mentioned in the previous answers you we will be joining as management trainee but after the training become the executives so mm-hmm. as a fresher you suddenly become an executive you have to be a boss of people who are senior to your age often it can be double your age also mm-hmm. if you are very young enough and uh, you how you will manage them and yes it is asked not for hl but it is asked in other psu interviews which i have given so i realized they ask this beat of iucl beat for spcl beat of ahs one example which i can quote is like this i am from finance but still this is something which can be uh, confronted with anyone like you have a supervisor and beyond him also there is a supervisor because hierarchy is there in place 
So you have a CM and you have a senior manager and a chief manager. So your chief manager is saying something and your senior manager is saying something. Now how you will con- see it is basically a violation of division of order. So you have to follow whose order. How will you respond to this? Like this questions they are asked. And at the same time, as you mentioned, problem solving questions also be, are being asked. So mechanical people, they can be asked about air. Those who are from aero engineering and those who are into mechanical, they have to be very strong with their basics. For us who are, I don't know about non-tech frequencies this year, but for non-tech also, they expect you must be knowing your basics. And from that only the case study will be asked. For me, often which I have faced in finance is again, financial accounting is there and what treatment we will give to this transition. So similarly, situations are given. I cannot give a good example for mechanical people, but you have to give uh, take idea from HPCL, IOC, and other interviews of PSM. They will also work with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Raksha, what kind of question from very generic uh, uh, questions like you know your hobbies, interests, and strengths? What kind of questions from this part? Uh, this purely depends upon us how we are driving the interview. If some mm-hmm. people are good having a good ex- like uh, this, I also may want to mention to people who will be giving interview. In the hall, you will be sitting with those who are IIT, those who have written IES mains, are waiting for the results, those who have written UPSC also. So people of various dimensions will come. And those people who are taking the interview will interact with them. So they will get to know too many areas. So undoubtedly, these questions can be asked. But if these ask, uh, this can go into an idea like one example of my friend. Like I am uh, mentioning this because people can get it in the interviews, not like it, there will be only bombarding the question. Like one question which my friend was confronted was, which is your favorite IPL team? He was from Chennai and interviews were happening in Bangalore. That time was IPL only. So yeah, he did ask, which is your favorite team? So these questions are also asked to make the interview a little light. Like someone says, cricket is my hobby. So IPL was going through, they asked this. So mm-hmm. you need, it's upon us, see how we are driving. And if you feel you are comfortable at this zone, you can bring the interviewer to this zone and tell them about your life story. Like mm-hmm. for me, it was reading mm-hmm. the books, even in the background, you can see. So I also try to bring the interview to that direction. See, my hobby is reading. Why I want to join PSU is because I read about a lot of them, how they have mm-hmm. transformed into the country. So yeah, mm-hmm. these questions are also asked. I gave the example with IPL. Mm-hmm. This is very basic example. More such to be people who are giving IES, they can also be asked, Ki, have you written? Well, people also mention that to Bracky, how I've written this. They also ask this. Ki, this is something which they have asked. Ki, you are planning, you have written this IES paper or UPSC paper. In the future, will you be going? These questions are also asked. Ki, why you are then leaving? Are you okay to leave your goal and now come to this organization? Well, because that is a part of their interest. They wanted to go to that job, but now you are coming to this. So these are also questions which are asked. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's say since you have summarized almost everything, what message you want to give to students who are going for the interview now? What they should keep in their mind in the interview? So those who are giving the interview, like I'll tell uh, from my experience, first of all, when you reach the location, that is actually very good. Those who have been to Bangalore, I know they know this place, but most of the people are coming from the different parts of the country. So you need not to be worried or anxious. Why? Because when you will see the infra, you will be shocked. Because this is actually very good infra and you will be very awe inspired because those people who are with you, who will be doing your document verification, those are already experienced people. The one who is at the, I told you in interview, you will be sitting with those who are IIT and also those who are giving the IES also. So first of all, first message is from my own experience, you not to worry. Because first thing is, I have given both the example. People, most important part is just your exam. If you are done good, you have to be very strong towards your interview, need not to worry. If even your exam is decent, still you have to give the bang interview. So you need not to be anxious. And the second thing is the people who are taking the interview, they are also very nice. It's different thinking, how it's a PSU, it's a defense PSU, how job will end up. That is a different story. We never know those people who are taking the interview can end up your boss. So you need to have a bigger vision. You take it like when you enter, you have to crack this interview and those people will be your boss. So you are interacting not with the panel, but your bosses. So first message is don't be anxious about the crowd which is sitting with you. Second is be sincere towards the people who are there because they are very experienced. So rather than being confronting them, be in the tone of accepting and learning new things. And the third is key, be prepared. Often it happens you don't carry your documents. It is something I feel very uh, shocked how it can happen. I felt it not should not be there, but I could see in my interview there were any people who had no documents, missed the documents, something like this. See, this is again a government organization. It is very particular about documentation. They will allow you for the interview, but that will have an impact upon your interview. It happened with my person who was in my with waiting. 
they were not having such certain documents so what happened is ki although they allowed him to give the interview they are good people but what will happen is ki your interview will be dented with this impression ki yaar mera wo document reh gaya it might hurt you so documentation should be very particular you should be very sincere and you should be courageous and strong you not to anxious if you have that courage to be part of such big organization and you have to be strong enough to that give that interview be confident and give mocks that's sorry i means mentioning in the last so that was my last mocks. point sir that was my last uh, point uh, uh, still that culture of taking lot of snaps mocks does not exist in india what is your advice to students for such kind of things just one liner ki before they test you you should test yourself and mocks is the best way for that like i am giving my own example i was i am a good i consider myself a good public speaker i have given lot of interviews and I'll, my the ratio is 100 my strike rate is 100 but still when sir took me this was my first snap mock which he took that time i realized that there are lot of improvement and a lot of areas where i have to work this you will face directly in your interview that will not help so first important thing is you should give mock because they will not test you and they will not they have to eliminate interview is just a process to eliminate lot of people are shortlisted for once you there three so it's not difficult for them to find it's difficult for you to make an impact and how you will make an impact by giving the snaps only i am very thankful to your pdf because i have seen a lot of snaps which were as subscribed and again this is a learning experience exam convert hota any job lagta any that is different story but when you will give mocks you will learn more about yourself because they will take only mocks but i think here we are give free mocks that is something very good and we should get develop this culture because this is i am still telling matlab i used to get this impression from my fellow mates that uh, there is something you are good how we can develop this so again kai log ka interview nikla bhi hai but still that reaching that place also they face this problem so in a way aap log ke liye wo bhi acha rahega ki aap thoda sa practice ho jayegi yahan pe kya pata hcl nahi to koi aur aur psu bhi jo aayega interview ke liye wahan kaam aa jayega so this investment of mock is very long lasting investment one should always give this and because exam bhi jo diya hai uske liye bhi to mock lagane to interview ke liye bhi to mock lagana chahiye yes so nachay i must say that you have summarized everything in very short duration of time and this was wonderful you, and uh, you know students who will be listening to this entire interaction they will get immensely benefited by your experience yeah. and by your uh, points which you have mentioned and i'm very sure they will follow these also so nachay uh, let me again thank you and wish you all the very best in hindustan and not ex limited thank you thank you sir okay